So my Husqvarna 570 has been a great saw for the last 16 years. I finally this year uh, replaced the bar on it. And I'm not a professional user. I'm just like the homeowner user that does, you know, firewood and cutting roads open, cutting some stuff on trails. But it's, uh, you know, it's getting up there in years and uh, packing it out on trails. I really kind of wanted something a little bit smaller. So I got a, uh, a steel 261 that's uh, clearly used. I got this at a, at a pawn shop. Somebody has uh, absolutely smoked that bar. <laughs> it's a, uh, a Gen 1 261 from what I can find with the serial number and then looking at the at the uh, cylinder head, it's not the slant head, it's the one going straight up and down. So I got that, it's, uh, it screams, but it's got a little issue, which I'll show you right now. I got this uh, air filter was pretty pretty filthy so I swapped the air filter put a new plug in put a new fuel filter in I'm just kind of kept the old stuff for this little video and you now I'm gonna throw it all away just a little uh, service kit thing that does those various saws I got that at McClendon's I think it was like 25 bucks Super filthy when I got it. I've cleaned it all up at this point in time. I have a new bar ordered, but I haven't got it yet. Oh, a chain too. Look at that. I don't know if it'll show up or not. I think it's smoked. Change positions here. We can really take a look at it. That is one bar is shot. It's really smoked on that side. I'm going to pop that cover too. Pull the plugs. I got to Take off the uh, little clip here. This may not be the best angle for this, so apologies for that. Some people call this the uh, C clip or the E clip. Some people call it the Jesus clip. I like to call it the F clip. Because if you do it wrong, you'll go, where the F did that clip go? I have not lost one yet, but you never know. Parts over here. Everything in here is already clean because I've already had it apart. So none of the springs are broken. Very nice. It looks good. I've greased it, cleaned everything up. But none of the springs are broken, but maybe they're just weak. So I don't know. So I got a little. Got a knockoff brand, and I'm gonna give it a try here. We're gonna see what happens. I 
Got a spare clip. All right, I got a piece of rope to uh, put over the cylinder here, which is, I guess, how we're supposed to do it. Oh, that's pretty close to the top right there. Shove some rope in here. This is the first time I've ever done one of these, so. guessing you can watch a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do something but when you do it yourself it's kind of different the old uh, impact. It's a uh, righty loosey lefty tidy on these. There we go. And I really can't tell if this is bad by looking at it. So I'm going to put that other one on and put it back together and We'll see if that solved the problem. And we'll put the new one on. And lefty tidy. All right, let's put it all back together and see what happens. That actually was super fast. All right, so there's the new one on. out and put this back together put the bearing on Just use the needle nose. Right, uh, chain catch is pretty hammered too. Looks like they threw the chain quite a bit. Might be uh, running a loose chain or uh, cutting a bunch of brush, and your brush was ripping it off. I know the oiler works really good. You can see all the oiler there because the chain keeps turning, so it keeps spinning the oiler. So it's definitely getting enough oil. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 